Research shows more people die from heart attacks during the last week of December than at any other time of the year. So what causes this spike? Let's ask Dr. Mark Siegel. He's a professor of medicine at NYU Langone and a Fox News contributor. So, Dr. Siegel, I mean, are the in-laws that bad? What's causing this at the very end of the year? Well, first of all, uh, you hit one of them. The in-laws may be that bad because stress plays a role. Also, that people are sedentary this time of year. They drink too much. They don't eat right. And they suddenly do things they shouldn't be doing, like shovel snow in a situation like this. And I'm especially worried this weekend, Rich, because of the frigid temperatures. If you go out suddenly into the cold, you actually constrict your blood vessels, which increases the risk of a heart attack. And by the way, speaking of shoveling snow, and Julia will love this, 67% of men try to shovel their own driveway. 50% of women try to shovel their own driveway, but women are twice as likely to hire somebody to do it and say, hey, I haven't, I'm not in the condition to be doing this. I'm not lifting a shovel. I'm going to hurt my back. I'm going to risk a heart attack. So I would urge people out there, men and women, not to shovel snow if they haven't been doing regular activity and if they have underlying health issues. I could have used that advertisement when I was 12 years old. Pay the neighborhood kid to shovel your snow. Um, let's take a look yeah. here at what some of the right? Exactly. Um, you know, I mean, I was pretty good going rate, to be honest with you. Um, take a look at some of the, the, the symptoms here, Dr. Siegel. It's chest pain or discomfort, feeling weak, lightheaded or faint, pain or discomfort in the jaw, neck or back, uh, discomfort in both arms or shoulders, shortness of breath. That's how you know uh, that you may be going into a heart attack. What can people do long term? to avoid getting into trouble here, cardiovascular trouble. I want to also point out, by the way, with those symptoms, Rich, they're different from men to women also. Men might see the more classic chest pain or gripping chest pain or shortness of breath. With women, it might be fatigue, dizziness. You just don't feel right, nausea. You might get more atypical symptoms. Now you ask, what do people do about this? I already hinted at this. I want people out there to do regular activity all the time. I mean, cardiovascular exercise has the right word to it. Walk where you usually go instead of taking a cab, inst instead of always using public transportation. Do a regular exercise routine every day and try to cut down on carbohydrates and fats. If you get into regular diet, regular routine, and exercise regularly and somehow decrease stress and eat better, you're much less likely to be in a situation where you say, uh-oh, here come those in-laws. Let me, I better drink my way through this, and then you put your heart at risk. Mm -hmm. You know, here's something else that might cause chest pain. Uh, the word triple-demic, whatever that is, what is it, and, and what should we be doing this holiday season? Well, Rich, first of all, the triple demic refers to flu, RSV, and COVID. And, you know, we're seeing a lot of flu this year, a very, very early heavy flu season. RSV is already on its way down. I think it's blanketed kids across the country. I'm not as worried about RSV. COVID is making somewhat of a resurgence, especially among our elderly. I'm concerned about that. But, you know, the first thing I want to tell people out there is you're tired of three years of people lecturing to you. Wear a mask. Don't do this. Don't do that. You know, mandates. So the fatigue from being ordered around is a problem. So I ask my patients, what's bothering you? What's worrying you? And if they're open to it, I say, this is a good year to get a flu shot because it's a good match. If you're elderly, the COVID booster is especially important. If you're going to go somewhere where there's somebody who's immunocompromised or very elderly and you have the sniffles, you might want to do a COVID rapid test to make sure you don't have that. As a physician, Rich, if I know you don't have COVID, I take that off the table. So that's why I like the COVID rapid test. And I also mm -hmm. treat flu a lot. So I, I look to treat flu early with Tamiflu if somebody's at risk. So I have, gotcha. I have tools in my bag of tricks here, but mm -hmm. I don't want to lecture to anyone. And we got to take that lesson from the American public. Enough lecturing. All right. Stay healthy, Dr. Mark Siegel. Thanks so much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.